Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is find the tension S induced in the string A, C, B attached at the points A and B of a prismatic bar A, B of weight P supported as shown in figure. Assume a perfectly flexible string frictionless pulley with negligible weight and dimensions and an ideal hinge at D. In this problem given is a bar AB of weight P is arranged like this. At this point D it is a hinge and at A and B there is a perfectly elastic string is attached like this. And the dimensions from here to here is A and total length is 3A and half length of the bar is 1.5A and from B to D is A. This height is A and here we assume a uh, frictionless pulley of negligible weight and dimensions. So in this problem uh, you need to find the tension in the string. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. First let us see forces and reactions. The weight of the bar P is acting in the middle of the bar here. So distance from here to here is 1.5A. So this string will experience a tension. So the reaction on the string is shown at B at an angle alpha uh, to this bar and at this end A it is perpendicular. So we have here a right angle triangle A, C, B. Let us call this angle is alpha. So from this right angle triangle this height is A, this total length is 3A, this angle is alpha. So we can write tan alpha equal to a by 3a. So from this we can find alpha equal to 18.4 degrees. Now let us take moments about this hinge D. So this P will produce counterclockwise uh, moment and T also pr um, produces counterclockwise uh, moment about D and this T will produce clockwise moment about D. So sigma MD can be written as sigma MD equal to 0. So moment due to this t about d can be written as t into this distance from here to here that is total distance is 3a and from here to here is a so t into 3a minus a minus since this is uh, producing clockwise moment and this is producing counterclockwise moment so minus p into uh, this distance is 1.5a so 1.5a and from here to here is a so distance from here to here will be 1.5a minus a. So that is written here p into 1.5 minus 1 into a equal to this uh, t produces uh, counterclockwise moment about d. So the component perpendicular to this bar will be t sin alpha and this distance is a. So moment due to this t about d can be written as t into sin alpha into a. So that is written here. So after simplification uh, we get t equal to 0.3 into p. That's all for today's video. If you like this content please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.